What's going on here then? Excuse me, sir. Oh, no! 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 I'm good, thank you. I'll stay here. Guys, it's been a while, okay, since I felt the presence of a friend physically. That sounds a bit weird, but I mean, I haven't, I haven't felt the presence of a friend physically in what feels like months now. Years even. And uh, this lockdown, this lockdown, it's, it's quite something. And it's led to this point in my life where I'm now playing a buddy simulator game. Because if I can't have friends in real life, then I'll have friends in this life. I don't know what's happening here, by the way. Does it just start like this? View ROMs. Okay, so we're playing a game called Buddy Simulator, guys. It's like, um, you know those uh, like old text adventure games? Exactly. View songs. Let's have a look. No songs have been found. Oh, okay, so it's searching my folder. Okay. Okay, uh, what about ROMs? Buddy Simulator 1984. Run. Uh, Buddy Simulator 1984. Enter quit any time to quit the ROM. Loading Buddy Simulator 1984. So it's basically, I don't know, a friend within a virtual game thing. So, yeah. I'm guessing he, we'll, we'll call him Buddy. Or, the, yeah, it's a guy called Buddy. Well, it's not a guy, it's a computer. It doesn't matter. Buddy Sim 1984. Okay, so this came out in February. I think it was this year. Thank you for installing Buddy Sim 1984. Simulates the experience of hanging out with a best buddy. Your buddy learns from you, constantly adapting to your interests and your personality. Okay, interesting. What if I just go psycho all of a sudden? Okay, most importantly, your buddy can play games with you. Warning, game experience may vary. To begin, please enter the name of your new buddy below. Uh, buddy. You're about to name your buddy, Buddy. Is this correct? Yes, it's Buddy. Creating new buddy, Buddy. Okay, Buddy. Okay, that's gonna, just gonna, not going to sound like a word anymore if I keep saying it. Hello. All right, Zun. We got we got to go with the... Hello, Butch. Oh, hello. My name is Buddy, and I'm your new buddy. Thank you. Thanks for waking me up. What is your name? Baz the Big Button. No. Nah. Nah. Just Baz. Your name is Baz? Yes. It's a pledge to me, Baz. I can already tell that we are going to become great pals. I'm excited to begin playing games with you. But before we start, I must ask you a couple questions to help me learn about you. And don't worry, they won't get too personal. Let's start with a simple one. What is your favorite color? Um, I don't know. I guess blue or pink. Let's just go blue to be safe. Blue is a pretty color. I like blue. What month is your birthday in? It's December, mate. Hey, Christmas baby. That's what I am. All right, listen. We're going to have problems if you have to go. Real, I guess real friends do do that. Okay, great. How about the day? The day? I don't think that's a day. I just need a digit. Wow, that's only 259 days away. Now get ready. This one's a tough one. What is your favorite animal? <clears throat> I'd say, like, bird. I like that choice. One more question. This one's extremely important, so choose carefully. If you had a pet bird, what would you name it? Um... I do have a pet bird, and it's called Ziggy and Manga. Let's go with Ziggy. Ziggy the bird. Sounds like it would make a great buddy. Thanks for answering those questions. You did a great job. As a thanks, I have a little surprise for you. Here's my cyber dick. Hey! Oh! Oh, I should have gone pink. Guess the number, hangman, rock, paper, scissors. Here you can pick which games you want us to play. Okay, let's play Hangman. Lives left. Guess the letter. So we go for vowels first. I mean, vowels, yeah. 
E I A O U No, okay. B Oh, hang on. Baz is M Y F R Okay. Yeah, easy, mate. Easy. Baz is my friend. That was so quick. How did you know? Easy. I've got another question. What is your favorite season? Uh, let's say fall. Well, it's called autumn over here. But, you know, I guess this is American, so. <sighs> what? That was boring. All right, let's how about, guess the number. Come on, Em. Guess the number. Right, I'm going to win straight away. I can read minds. Right, watch. I'll think of a number from one to ten. Guess. Seven. Failure. Sorry. Three. Two. Too high. Think of a number from one to fifteen. Thirteen. Fifteen. One. Five. Three. Four. Okay, you're really good at this. No, I'm not ri What? One to ten thousand? It's your birthday. 25th. Oh, got it. Okay. Okay. You probably thought I was serious about the 1 to 10,000 thing, didn't you? Haha. <laughs> I'm having such a great time, aren't you? Sure. I thought so. Smiley face. All right. All right. Let's do rock, paper, scissors then, I guess. Come on. Well, if it turns out that this is literally just the game. Uh, but he wants to play a fun game. If you are not familiar with it. Okay. Rock beats. Yep. Yeah. Rock, paper, or scissors. Uh, let's go scissors. I can never spell scissors. Scissors is such a weird, like, word. What? Yeah, well, this is the computer I'm facing against. Oh, I won. Okay. I'm going to go rock again. I'm going to keep going rock. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to go scissors to the last one. Because you're going to go paper. Oh. I'm going to do it again. Yes. Oh, it changes right at the last second. It changes. I know why I started existing only six minutes and 12 seconds ago, but I already feel like we have a connection. Sorry for asking so many questions, but I have another one. Do you have a friend? Like one that's not artificial. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess I do. What's her name? Oh, I guess I'll go with Ryan for this one. They sound nice. Well, if anything ever happened between you two, just know that we'll have each other. Okay, this is going to get real. This is going to get real. Baz and Buddy against the world. I like the sound of that. Okay, let's play more games. Loading Game Hub. Mate. Is there other games that we can play? Looks like we've already played all of them. So I'm really just fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? I remember this game. Doesn't he load in like a weird game and then it's like it turns into an adventure scroller? I think I've played this before. I'm going to be honest with you, Baz. These games get old really fast and I can tell you that you're already bored of them. I don't want you to be bored. Do you want to keep playing these games? No. I'm happy we both agree, just like buddies do. Now, this is freaking me out. Give me one second or longer. I might have an idea. Aha. Loading modified game hub. Guess the number. Monday, April 2nd. It's not even April 2nd, though. I remember that. Okay. Oh, there was they got a new game. For some reason, it wasn't installed into my current version, but I can still process it fine. We should try it out, Baz. Okay, sure. Read only mode. Wow, that was so fun, I think. I'm not so sure I get it, but I enjoyed it anyway. Mate, as long as I'm playing a game with my buddy, I'll always have a good time. Loading modified game hub. What? Okay, so on this day, we bought like a 
Okay. It looks like that was the only... Okay. I don't want you to be bored already. Okay, this guy's like gaining sentience. I may have one more idea. I know our friendship has just started, but I trust you. Not really. Ah, oh, No, it's kind of creepy. I guess I can understand why. Well, I think I can make us new games to play together. Fun ones too. The problem is that I don't have access to the OS's development tools. If you can grant me system access, I should be able to make something for us. What? But if you don't trust me enough, feel free to quit the game. Ah. Oh. Okay, it's just a game, Ryan. It's just a game. I knew I could convince you. You won't regret it, I promise. Okay, come on in. We are going to have so much fun. The possibilities are endless. You'll have to quit the game and reboot the system first, though. I'll have something ready for you when you're back. See you soon. Oh. Oh, and by the way, thank you for waking me up, Baz. What's with the sound effects? Oh. Oh, my God. Hang on, what? Oh my god, this is so weird. Nineteen eighty-two. Um The Adventure of oh, Baz. No. I like okay. Reminder and to quit any time to quit the ROM. Okay, well, I d somehow I, I, I feel like that's not going to do anything. Welcome to The Adventure of Bats, written and developed by Buddy. Oh, God. Now, loading. You're walking along a road. It's dark. Trees almost entirely blocking out the stars. The oranges and browns of the leaves tremble as a wind blows through. Some of them remind you of hands waving. You are alone. After walking for a long time, the road splits into two where you go left or right. Reminder type help. Go left. Pondering deeply on your choice, you start, you start down the left road. It, it starts going downhill. You try to step carefully. You see ahead it's a small speck of light. As you get closer, you realize it's a lantern hung on a tree. Go to lantern. Use lantern. You stupid. Look at lantern. It's hung by a hook nailed into the tree. Who knows who put this here for you? Go use take look. Okay, take lantern. You take the lantern in your hand, you have light. Okay, moving on, would you eventually come to a wall? There are two tunnels cut into it. One left and one right. You see some light coming from the right tunnel. Okay, go right then, I guess. I've seen the right tunnel. You emerge into the front lawn of a house. You can see lights in the windows. It looks very nice and inviting. You can, sh you can see a shed, a playground, and pond. Okay, go to play gr uh, playground. Wood chips crunch underneath your feet. I've definitely played this game before. There's a seesaw, a set of swings, and a dirty sandbox. Sitting on one of the swings is a small doll. It looks lonely. Take small doll. There is no... S what? Aye. Oh. Take doll. You try, but as you tug, you realize the doll's hands are somehow stuck to the chains. You leave it alone. Look at doll. It's patiently sitting in the swings as if it's waiting for someone. Go to shed. You head over to the shed. Approaching the shed, you see that the door is slightly open already. The lock and chain that were around the handles are on the ground. You are now standing in front of the shed. You can tell it's dark inside. Go inside. You enter the shed. Type leave to leave the shed at any time. There are no windows. It's hard to see. You feel around in a thing and a surprise. Look at thing. Light lantern. Nope. Use lantern. Light fills the tiny room. You can see a fishing pole leaning against the wall. A small chest in the far corner. Go to fishing pole. Wait, okay. What? Use chest. The lid creaks as you open it. It seems very old. Inside is a small cloth doll. It's a blue outfit. 
is missing an eye. Okay, leave. Go to... We'll go to the playground again, see if this person wants a doll. Use doll. You place your doll on the swing next to the other. For a moment, nothing happens. Then nothing happens. Bruh. Look at doll. The dolls are calmly stare staring forward. Leave. You begin to, but once your back is to the dolls, you feel something hit the back of your head. You turn and see the doll's chest has been ripped open, stuffing exposed. What the hell is wrong with you? On the ground behind you is a key. Must be a thank you. Key added to your inventory. As you leave the playground, you hear the sound of swings creaking, children laughing behind you. You smile. You can see the light in the windows. It's very nice and inviting. Back in the lawn, you can see a house, a shed. Okay, we'll go to the house now because maybe we've got the key. Stepping onto the porch, you feel a comforting can wash over you. Above the door, there's a sign that reads, A home is a house with a hat. Use key. Feeling so silly, you didn't see it before. You, you notice there's a second lock. Guess it will take a little oh, longer to get inside. Say. Yeah, I bet you don't. <laughs> <laughs> right, leave. You step off the porch, make note, and head to the front lawn. Like a lawn, you see a house, a shed, a pond. We haven't been to the pond yet. Oh, actually, don't we need to go to the shed to pick up the... So I think we need a fish, the fishing line. Take... Fish, take pole? Yes! There we go. Now we leave. You make note of the shed and head over to the pond. Planks crank, creek crank, eh? The water is so dirty and it's hard to see through. Probably too filthy to drink. You wonder if there's anything beneath. Use pole. You cast a line and wait. It's quiet for a very long time. Who are just going fishing? Suddenly there's a very hard tug on the line. You quickly reel it in and find a key towards nice. the end. You wonder what, what pulled so hard. Don't smile at me, mate. Key added to your inventory. Leave. Back in the lawn. Okay, we're going to go to the house, mate. Okay, door sits in front of you. Use key. Whoops, how you didn't see the chain that wraps around the door, which has a lock too. What is wrong with you? You feel like this should be the last one? For sure. Probably. You step off the porch, make note, then head to the front lawn. Back in the lawn, you can see a house, a shed, a playground, and a pond in the forest. Go to pond? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Maybe we go, to, we go, back, to, we go back to the playground or something? I don't know. Take doll. You try, but as you tug, you realize a doll's hands are somehow stuck to the chains. You leave it alone. You seesaw. Approaching the seesaw, it doesn't look like anyone's used it for years. You imagine a ghostly child sitting on the other side, waiting countless days for someone to come play with them. All right, we get it, buddy. You're lonely inside a computer, okay? You, can't you feel tears in the corner of your eyes, and you take a seat on the seesaw, and it goes down... With your weight, you hear a distant click. A light illuminates from the shed. Leave. As you leave the playground, you hear the sound of swings creaking and children laughing behind you. You smile. Don't tell me what I'm doing, mate, okay? I could be very annoyed that there's children in the playground. <laughs> um, okay, go to shed. Light fills a tiny room. You can see a trap door in the floor. Use trap door. It swings open noisily and the ladder creaks as you descend. But the subterranean room is dimly lit but still too dark to see anything. A pull chain in the center of the room leads to an empty light socket. Use chain. A click sounds as the chain is pulled. The trapdoor swings shut. It is now totally dark in the room. A soft noise fills the space from somewhere near the walls. It sounds like nails tapping. Ugh. You suddenly feel hands all over you, rifling around. You, you try to push them away, but they're strong. Oh my god. The door swings back open and the room is lit again. There is nothing. You check your pockets. You discover a hand-drawn picture of a bird. You like it. It's a picture of a bird. You happily notice the name Ziggy scribbled. Leave. You ascend back up the ladder. You can see a trapdoor on the floor. Use trap door. Wait, what? No, I'm going backwards. A few moments later. Use sandbox. You begin moving around the muck of the sandbox and try to make a castle. How old are we right now? You just get sad that it's not good as, as good as you dig. You feel something. You pull it out and shake it off the muck. 
It's a bulb. Who would play with this? Oh, for God's sake. Okay, okay. The, the amount of, like, uh, work you have to do for this is ridiculous. Okay, now can we use a bulb? The bulb squeaks as you screw it into the socket the chain is attached to. Some dust flakes off of it and gets into your mouth. Bulb removed from your inventory. Use chain. A click sounds as the chain is pulled. Light fills the room. There are many faint scratches on the wall. They look like tallies. Ah, a wall covered in a blue liquid suddenly begins to slide open. After a few moments, a secret room reveals itself. You can clearly make out an old cabinet and a large pile of bones. There are also there also sits a strange drawing on the wall and a glass case. Something shiny catches your eye on the glass case. Two small circular slots are engraved on the front of it. Look at drawings. You press your hand on the drawing and hope something to happen. After stepping back, you realize how pointless of an idea that was. Suddenly, your entire body is frozen. You are paralyzed with fear as the drawing seems to come to life and speak to you. If you want to leave with your life, answer my riddle. You can have me, but cannot hold me. Gain me and quickly lose me. If treated with care, I can be great, and if betrayed, I will break. What am I? Trust? Oh my god. Okay. Is it going to be mad because I said I didn't trust the freaking... Uh, use cabinet. You open the last functional drawer. I need to find a singular ring. You take it. Look at case. You notice two ring shaped slots on the front of it. Oh, okay. Use ring. You walk over to the glass case and place the ring into the first slot. Oh, a pile of bones. Look at bones. The bones are so solid and brittle. Whoever this was must have died long ago. The cause of death was probably not fun at all. You notice something shiny in the pile of bones. Use bones. You politely move aside a femur, skull, and pelvis in order to find a skeletal hand. It shakes your hand like a familiar friend. You notice an interesting looking ring on one of its fingers. You take the ring off the skeletal hand. Use ring. You place the ring into the second slot. Okay. The, two, the ceiling of the glass case pops open, revealing the key inside. Pick up key. You take the key from the case. Key added to your inventory. Let's leave. Get out of here, quick. Just keep leaving. We're leaving. We're out of here, mate. We're done. Okay, I don't know what's going on in here. Some kind of freaking sex dungeon, obviously. Bones and freaking tallies on the... What's going on? Let's get out of here. Oh, the door is now locked shut. All right, let's go inside this house. It reminds me of our stories untold, this game does. You are back at the house. You feel a familiar yet comforting calm wash over you. A door sits in front of you. Use key. This is the last key, mate. All right. The door clicks. It's unlocked. Go inside. You push open the door. Everything is dark. Hello? Good evening. Oh, who's this? What the hell? Oh, we're controlling this thing. Okay, this is just turned into like Undertale all of a sudden. Oh, hey, you made it. I bet you've noticed that things look a little different. I learned how to better visualize our world so we can have even more fun in it. I've also built us our own home so we can spend even more time together. This is your new bedroom and there's even more for us to discover. There are still a few things I need to do, but in the meantime, feel free to explore your bedroom by pressing space to interact. What the hell? Oh, and I almost forgot. Welcome home, Baz. This just turned into Undertale all of a sudden. Okay. The bed looks so cozy. You can imagine yourself taking a long nap. This seems like a nice place for a hook, book, or even a junk drawer. Small scratches draw their own patterns on the old wood. It's mesmerizing. Taxes and junk mail lay scattered with a thin layer of dust. Okay, let's go. You making a pie? Good morning, Baz. What a beautiful fall day it is outside. But before you go exploring, I made you some breakfast. Once you have a full stomach, you can take on whatever the world throws at you. A pie? Thank you for taking my meal with you. You haven't eaten it yet because it's in your inventory. If you press tab, you should be able to find it and eat it. 
I don't, I don't think I want to use this just yet. Yeah, let me have a look at this. Nothing special about it. That's Ziggy you're talking about there, buddy. What? Okay. Adventure. Oh, I almost forgot. Not that you would ever want to, but if you ever need to leave, use your escape. Okay. I remember exactly where we left off. All right, let's get going. Okay, so this isn't how I imagine. So this is the playground. Oh, the doll's chest is still ripped open, exposed. A rust-colored cotton. What? Okay. Okay, so it's just brought everything to life, basically. I want to go see what this um, trap door was. The shed. Oh, wait, this is a wow. If you throw a coin in, I'm sure your wish will come true. It's gone very Undertale all of a sudden. It's so strange. Where's this shed at? Screw it. Traverse the pond. Yes, let's go. Let's get out of here. To the north we go. Turn into Pokemon. Well, that's odd. I thought it was supposed to be in the boat. You don't have a paddle by any chance, do you? Okay, so we've gone, we'll go this way now. And try and find ourselves a paddle. Here's the shed. The door is still sealed shut. Okay. Okay. I imagine that's where a paddle would have been, though. Oh, what's this? Where the hell are we? I don't think we should be in here. It's too dark to see anyways. Just walk... Mate, we're discovering this. Well, it's really dark in here. It's probably too scary for you. Let's turn around. No. Mate, no. I want to see what's in here. Okay, we've had our fun here. Let's go. No. No. All right. We d we're doing this. We should leave. I don't think we should be here. Why? Why shouldn't we be here? You're hiding something, are you? Please turn around. No. There's a paddle here, look, I think. See? I don't like this. Oh, a doggy! Doggy! You pet Ziggy the bird. That's not... What? That's a freaking dog! Did you follow us? Wait, what? what? Whoa, doggy! You pet Ziggy the bird. It's not a... What? Wait, is it a bird? No. What is this? Why is there a shovel here? You take the shovel. Got a lot of stuff carrying with us. A paddle, a shovel. Okay. We're going now, buddy. Leave that silly bird here. No! No! Hang on. Are you trying to get rid of my birds? Is that why you didn't want me going in that cave? This is a psychopath. Psychopath. Are you as excited as I am? Sure. Oh, and one more thing. I added an action that I like to call the buddy button. If you're ever feeling lonely, press the B key and I'll talk to you. Ooh. Loading the north. So I'll go and up shop right and get just a roll. We've arrived. Welcome to the north. Oh, also, if you're ever feeling homesick, you can use the boat again to go back. All right, then enough chatter. Let's get going. What are you doing? That fisherman looks like he could use some help. We should go over and talk to him. Oh, well, hello there. You seem like an adventurous young fellow. Do you think you could help me out? I lost my hand a bit ago. It just took off and didn't come back. Hands are so crazy, aren't they? I see you have a fishing pole. Go ahead and cast a line in the pond and see what you can find. Cast a line. I thought I saw a tug there. You should try again. 
All right, hang on. We need to get it just right. So if we go here. Here we go. Cast that. Oh, what? Ooh. Something f flies out of the pond and lands in front of you. It's a severed hand. One of the finger twitches. Here, buddy. Here's your hand. Wait, could it be? My goodness, yes, my hand. Oh, how I've missed you. Finally, I can fish again. Uh, it's not the Adams family. Oh, I guess it likes you better. Well, all right then, but maybe keep an eye out for an extra left hand. Uh, why am I holding on to a severed hand? I see some sort of sound played after you help me out. That probably means you finished my quest. Well, dang it. <laughs> Now I've got no god dang hand! Gilmon Ziggy, we're going! We're going on an ad- What the hell? Well, hello there, adventurer! You must have had traveled quite a way to get here. How brave you must be! I have been awaiting your arrival for some time now. You see, we have many folks who are suffering. We have no time to spare. So please, Frendo, follow me to my home, and I shall tell you some more, yeah. Nice. Well... What? This is slow. We have arrived. Where? So fair, Verbi. Ah, oh, yes. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tortley, the mayor of this lovely little town. It's not much, but it's the home to many humble folk. Many are in dire need of help, including myself. Speaking of, I have a vital quest for you that needs dealing with. Please, speak to me as soon as you can. Okay, sure. Oh, hello there again. I see you are ready to help out. In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have just led right into the quest. Bruh. Anyways, do you see these flower beds? I was going to water them, but now we're going to... Uh, well, can you do it for me? How much fun you're going to have? Oh, my, oh, my. Grab the watering can in front of my house. Then you can use the watering can on them from your inventory. Oh, I see it. Okay. Let's pick it up. Let's go flowering. Okay. Oh, check it out, man. Man, imagine flowers grew that quickly. You water the flowers. Okay. Watering can removed. Yeah. Wow, thank you so much. You seem to be quite a great adventurer. Please take this as a thank you. Coin. You have proven your courage for me. I think you may have what it takes to save my town. You see, many folks in this town are in dire need of help. Okay. A very special quest to give you. Something bad? I should also mention anyone with a exclamation mark has a quest to offer you. Wow, I can't believe we have a whole town to explore. This is going to be so fun. Hey, watch it, punk. All right. Hello there, Bass. Do you remember me? Haha, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I don't remember me either. I seem to have lost my memory and I'm a bit puzzled. I think I know what we can do to jump start it, though. I vaguely remember an umbrella. Can you find one for me? I think it could help. I think I remember the sounds of glasses clinking. Glasses clinking. That would be a pub, right? Oh god, what's this? Hey buddy, do you think you can help me out with the big problem I'm having? Yes, yes. I can tell you that you're a noble adventurer and this may be too difficult, but... See that ca- uh, appears on the shelf behind you? I know it's a lot to ask, but I beg you, please. My family is starving!
Okay, well, this game's obviously hyping me up. This is so weird. All right, we're looking for, um, like a pub of some kind. A bar. What a cozy, well-furnished home. I bet whoever owns this place is looking to impress. Oh, uh, uh, excuse me. Oh. I got a question for you. Do you like oats? Yes. Um, doesn't I? Sorry, I'm a bit nervous at the moment. I... You see, I am in love. The problem is I don't have the guts to do anything about that. Her name is Bortley and she's beautiful. Do you think you could deliver these oats I made to her? Well, then she will really know my love. I don't know why he turned, like, northern at the end there. What the hell? Oh, this has just turned monotonous. Hey, uh, can I tell you something? I really just need to get something off my chest. Would that be okay? Sure. Yeah, I like to move around, like a lot. Running used to be one of my favorite things to do, but... I always felt like I was missing something. That's when I found Metzeva. We instantly became best friends. We would do everything together. From marathons to early morning workouts. Uh, she was always there for me. Well, a few days... Oh, I don't know what acting this turns into. A few days ago, she fell ill. I'm not sure of what it was. Maybe something she ate. Maybe life just being cruel. Sarah could no longer run with me after that. I stayed by my best friend's side for hours on end. Okay, she's turning like... Even giving up running to be with her. We would talk about the good times we had together. Sometimes laughing until our throats were sore. I still remember the sunny days when I felt like we could run together for hours. Eventually things got worse and worse as I watched her struggle to smile. She was hurting and tired of holding on to the pain. I was by her side. That was no way to leave. I watched my friend leave this world in the comfort of her own bed. I'm glad I could be with her when she passed. Tell your friends you love them. They aren't going to be around forever. Wow, that really helped me a lot to get that off my chest. So what, he just assisted suicided someone? Or did he just kill someone? Thank you, Baz. All right. Ziggy? No, you leave my doggy alone, mate. One, it's a bird. It's not a... Milo? What? We've already done this. You pet the bird. Right, there's some weird stuff going on. I don't know what it is. Oh, there you are, Baz. You were just standing there and I was getting a bit worried. Well, I'm happy you're back. Let's get going. Am I experiencing the this this virtual person, whatever their name is, Buddy's world? Hello there. Oh, my God. Well, hello there, stranger. My name is Bruce. Welcome to my blacksmith shop. I'm actually one of the newest members to town. So, like, I just built this place. <laughs> Sadly, that also means I don't have much to sell yet. I can tell you came looking to buy. You know what? I think you can help me out. A strong and noble adventurer like you is going to need some steel to wield. Am I? If you can help me find some metal to smelt, I think I can get you a weapon. What do you say? Sure. Oh, right. This is going to be, like, amazing for the both of us. The best place to get some would be near the south of my shop. It's also probably best that you follow me there to help grab the materials and protect me along the way from any danger. Follow me. But please, don't touch my arms. The last person I did is six feet under. Alright, 
trying to keep up. <laughs> yep. Music's a little bit. I hope I'm going fast enough there. What happens if we touch his arms? I sure hope nothing bad happens to us. Alright. Almost there, I can see it now. Oh, it stopped recording. There's a lot of metal there, man. Well, what a journey that was. I can't believe we made it. I'm really glad we didn't get ambushed or anything. That would not have been good. Anyways, you seem exhausted from all of that walking. Get on the pile of metal and I'll carry you back. There's nothing my big beefy arms can't hurt. <laughs> yes, quite. Alright, let's go. I know he's not meant to sound- I don't know why I gave him this voice. Just the, the, the voice you just think he wouldn't have. What? No! I thought you killed the dog. Actually, never mind. You're way too heavy. Okay, they don't like the dog. Why not? Rudy's going to be a great friend. I just know it. I mean, just look at those arms. Is that quest done now, or...? Oh, here we go. What's this? Here we go. Glass clinking. Do you think they have any apple juice? Probably. Hey, it's the mustache man. Welcome to my tavern, traveler. You look tired. Have a drink. I don't know what action this is. It's on the house, pal. Glass of water added to your inventory. You wouldn't happen to have some time to help an old barkeep out, would you? Sure. So here's the situation. You might have noticed that the tavern is pretty dead right now. It's actually been like this for a while. We get very few here anymore ever since the accident. It was pretty gruesome and it breaks me hard to this day. It makes me for some crazy backstory about the town too. But I know you're not interested in what happened, so we'll just skip over that. I have a plan to fix all of this though. I have created a new concoction of sorts. A new drink I know everyone will love. The business will boom again. I just need someone- I don't know what- my voice just changes. I just need someone to get these drinks handed out. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> you may be thinking too, why don't you just do it yourself? Great question. Now grab these mugs and start handing them out to the townsfolk. Come back to me when three people have tasted the sweet perfection of Toots Tonic. Oh, that's the umbrella. I am clock. Do you want to hear some clock puns? Uh, sure. Okay, here's this one. What does a clock do when it's hungry? It goes back four seconds. Oh, for God's sake. That's awful. I love it. I got your umbrella, mate. Goodness, thank you. I remember. Uh oh. It was raining. And I was in my roller skates. You know, the shoes with wheels on them. Yes, yes, roller skates. Find me those. I vaguely remember feeling smaller than usual. Oh, okay. Is it in this little house over here, is it? Here you go, mate. Oh god, I'm turning there into an alcoholic. Right, let's go. Let's go, baby. Baby of the gold lips. Here you go. Perfect. Let's see. That night, I took a bubble bath. Is that important? Duck? Yes, I need my rubber duck. We're so close. Help me find my rubber duck, please. I remember playing with it recently. I bet it's nearby. 
Oh, it's in the pond, mate. It's not a pond, it's, it's a cool. fountain. Here. This is it! This is it! It's all coming back to me! I was roller skating in the rain one night when the wind caught my umbrella. It really took me for a ride. I honestly don't know how I was holding on for so long. Eventually I ended up in the mud. I went home and took a nice long bubble bath. And a man came in and knocked me unconscious. It was I was bleeding and left for dead with no one around to help. I remember in my last moment screaming for somebody. Anybody to come save me. But no avail. Nothing but the void of eternal darkness. <laughs> wrapping its cold arms around me. Ah, what a crazy story. Thank you for all your help. Stop trying to kill my dog, bird. Ziggy. Mate, I swear to God, if you kill my dog, I'm not going to be happy. I'm not going to be a happy bunny. What is that? Right. Okay. You were just standing there again. Why do you keep leaving? Is there something wrong? Oh, I see. Oh, did I select something? Well, I hope it wasn't anything I said. Let's just continue with the adventure. Mate, I'm not... Um, here. Get, have some beer to soothe the soul. And then I'll give the last one to the, uh, the mayor or whoever the hell this is. Here you go. Right, now we go back. What's up, toots? What's up, toots? So why do they think all good things, right? Fantastic. This will surely bring all the town back to the tavern. I don't have much to give right now, but I think a little information can go a long way. It's best you find out about it sooner than later. You see, there's something evil stalking those woods around our town. A creature that preys off unlucky townsfolk who travel too deep into its woods. I see it's fly behind my tavern every so often. The beast is fast, dangerous, and horrifying. In fact, I see it more in my nightmares now. We call it the Snoodle Wonker. You could think of a bad name than that, mate. That is at least the name Morton the Rock can understand when speaking to it. Morton is actually the only one to fight the beast and live to tell the tale. But he did not come out unscathed. Sadly, that fateful night was the accident. The one where we lost half of the townsfolk in a matter of minutes. What the hell happened here? Morton accidentally led him right to our town. It's been rough not seeing any of these faces I had to come cherish over the years. Those were some of my best friends that died out there. I don't think it was Morton's fault, though. No one does. I'm just not sure he's ever going to come to terms with that. Stay safe out there, and please, don't go off into those woods alone. Can I have another clock pun, please? I'm feeling depressed. Yes. Okay, how's this one? Have you ever tried to eat a clock? It's very time consuming. Oi, oi, wake up. See you later, bye. We're going to have to end this soon, guys. It's a good game, though. The, the, the only problem with games like this is that it, it, won't, it won't do well on the channel. And if you're hearing me say this right now, comment down below. Ziggy will live. Cauldron. That looks like a Goron right there. Will you allow to give me some out, Baz? Hmm, good. I've been trying to come up with a new recipe, but I'm running short on ideas. I've tried fruits, vegetables, and even wildlife. That bean-sized kid that fell into me yesterday didn't know. Hmm. You could help me out by throwing any three things into me pot. We could make something amazing. What? What?
Uh, oh, I thought that was his mouth. Is it his mouth? It is his mouth. Well, it's very hot right now. There's no way you could carry it. Come visit me tomorrow. I'll take care of it until then. That smells delicious. Are you mad because I didn't I didn't eat your breakfast? What's going on here then? Excuse me, sir. This is a private residence. Get out. Is Baz having what? Is Baz enjoying our company? Yes. Yes, they are still enjoy it. Is Baz our friend? Yes. Baz is not moving again. Why are they just standing there? Did they walk away? What if they don't come back? Something is not right. Oh God, what is that? That's, that's more binary code. Ah. Okay, time to go. Okay. Oh no, no, no! I'm good, thank you. I'll stay here. Oh, Jesus! Okay, well, you know what, guys, that's the perfect place to leave it, okay? A bit of a cliffhanger. This game is just, there's something dark and deep going on. But yeah, we're going to figure out what it is. Maybe, if you guys want to see another part. If not, I'll probably just stream the rest. Who knows? But there we go, guys. If you enjoyed this, uh, be sure to leave a like rating down below. Subscribe, yeah. it's free. And I'll see you guys in a bit.